Hello and welcome to the second video of the series. Today we'll be setting the initial structure of the project and declaring the routes using the React router DOM. So this was the template that we got from Create React app in the last video. So now we'll clean up the, the styles that we don't require and we'll be making the folders that we we'll that I usually make for a project. So let's see. Uh, this is the app.js file. We don't need the code inside here. So we'll just get rid of this all the code inside here and if we can test it out by just writing a p then i can say hello world and see if it works so as you can see hello world is being printed so our project is running and working fine now we can get rid of this We don't require the logo as it is already being removed. We don't require the testing file as we're not going to test anything. We need the app.cs file. Yeah. Now, the next step that we are going to do is we'll be setting the box sizing as a border box so that whenever you set the width and height of a box, it remains the same. I mean, if you add the padding and margins to it, they are included inside the width and height and not the size of the box is already increasing. Next thing, we'll get rid of all the code inside the app.js as we'll be starting from scratch. And so I can use a code snippet for RFC, which will create a functional component. These snippets are from an extension. As I'll show you the extensions that I'm using. This is the extension called ES7 plus this extension gives you code snippets very useful code snippets of related to react native and react native so it's a very good extension to have so if i go back to app.js we'll be having our app component and here we'll have nothing for now we we'll just write we we'll just write hello world for now And it is being displayed here. Next, I'll be creating the folders that we, like, I make for the project. So the first folder would be screens folder that will hold all the screens and that will have basically all the screens that will have routes to them, and those will be stored here. The next folder would be called a components folder as React is a component based library. So we'll be making all the components and storing them here. The third folder will be a shared folder that will store all the styles and assets and everything that is being shared by all the components and screen. So we'll start by making a home screen. We'll call it home.js. If I will use the course snippet RFC, we have to create our home component. So uh, we in in react we always name the components with a capital letter letter or pascal case it is called and we i'll be naming the files using camel case which is which is something like this if you want to write like settings screen so you write settings so every new word We'll start with the capital letter. This is called camel case, and the Pascal case is so the setting screen. So the component will be named like this, and the screen, the file storing it will be named like this. So this home.js file will be holding everything that we our website will have, and we'll just simply import this inside the app.js. And this app.js will have nothing but just a home component. So if we write home, as you can see, it automatically imports it for us and we can just save it. So now if you see, home is being displayed here. So the home component has come here, okay? So now we'll go to home. So the next step that we are going to do is we'll create the routes. And for the creating the routes, we'll have to install a package called React Router DOM. To open the terminal, we can press Command plus J. It will create a new terminal for us. As you can see, the this 
you can create another terminal to install a new package you write npm install yeah drop it down and install the latest version of yahoo virtual down for our project now that the package is installed we can start by adding the routes to the to our project so we'll simply import import the browser router as router we we'll simply we are just giving an alias to the bigger name so that it's easier to use and then the route routes and a route from react router down we'll start by wrapping the whole home component inside the router so that the routes are clean, available everywhere inside the project so we'll route the router here and we'll take the closing tag to the end of the end of it then we'll we'll get rid of this home diff we'll be creating the routes the routes component maps over our routes and displays whichever matches the current route so the next will be the route which will have a path and the path will be this and an element which specifies the component that it is going to render so the first component will be the home component will be a library component which we'll just create so let's just quickly go and create all the screens that we are going to have in here. So the next screen will be library.js. We just have to capitalize the first letter. Then another screen would be the feed, which will hold all the latest made versions. Another file will be a player that will have that will mount our player inside the application. So another screen will be the favorite screen that will hold all the songs that we find that the user favorites. And the last one is the trending screen that will simply display all the trending songs and albums now let's go to the home screen again and quickly import all these so now if we just do this you can see it, it knows where to import it from we'll create another route We'll call it feed element. We will go here. Will be the feed component. In the similar fashion, we'll quickly add the routes for the other screens also, one by one. As you can see, I get these preloaded suggestions for the next line these are all from the tab 9 extension you can always install it it's a very handy handy extension and it gives you based on your previous coding style and all it gives you very nice suggestions so it makes your coding easier so as you know as we now have all the routes we can go to our website and check this is the home screen which is a library so that that l if you write Feed. It will go to the feed screen. If you try trending, it will go to the trending screen. So now you can see our routing is working. That was all for this video. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to make this good looking sidebar and how to map all those routes that we created in this video over each link so that we can navigate to different pages in the website.